Hello Medicine Tribe, in this video we are going to learn how to remove negative energy. I have some rituals and practices that you can do, but before we get into that I think it's of utmost importance that when we understand that when we utilize certain practices, ceremonies, rituals, anything like that, that we are also working on our consciousness. There are some people that have the extreme that when you work on your consciousness only, you don't have to use rituals, and other people that use rituals and don't understand the work in consciousness. Both parties will say, I am spiritual and I do things of spiritual nature, but I find when we utilize both practices, it uh, just works the best. So first, if you look within yourself, because if you clicked on this video, you must believe that negative energy has some degree of power over you. But what power does it have over you? This is the practice of the inner workings of our consciousness. I like to reframe reality into two different ways. There is no negative, there is teachers, and there are positive good vibes. And anything that is perceived as negative is actually just, just teaching us how to get into a positive and good vibe better so that we don't fall into that negative vibe. Let's use the example of, this is my favorite one, because almost everyone when they speak in front of a group of people, myself included, feel very anxious. We could think that that is bad energy, that is negative energy, that is something that we should avoid. And this is where our inner workings of our consciousness often need some reprogramming and reframing because if you go through that process of speaking in front of a group of people, you will undoubtedly and inevitably feel good, get better at it, and it will transmute. Just like when we are receiving evil eye or negative perceptions from other beings on the planet, and now we believe that their negative energy is in us, or maybe we had some sort of interaction with a person that has some issues that we didn't like, then we go, their energy is on us, and now I gotta get it off of me. But to understand, how does this energy vehicle that we are embodying work? Well, in my perception, in my experience, it works that if there's something attaching itself to me, a negative energy or in my space, someone has come into my home and now I'm feeling their energy, sure, I could just sage the place and maybe the energy's gone, maybe it's not, maybe it lingers for a while. This is why it's very important to work with both concepts, working with the consciousness and the practices. So if there is something that is coming through and it's meant to teach us, what is it here to teach us? Well, within our reality, there is always going to be a lot of things that we need to see about ourselves. If we are experiencing a negative transference of energy from someone, we must contain something of like vibration, of like energy doesn't mean the exact energy. It doesn't mean that if someone came over to our place and they have trauma and now they are operating on a certain wavelength, that means we have their same trauma. What it does mean though is that we have created a pathway within our energy field through our perceptions and through basically our entire way of being that has condemned or judged that person therefore made ourselves a like vibration to attract such a thing. The process of transmutation of negative energy is everything that is positive. Understanding, acceptance, patience, forgiveness, all of these things that we can cultivate. They're not choices. Many people think that, you know, oh, I should just forgive and then it's done. Actually, how these positive qualities work is we cultivate a landscape. We cultivate an introspective perception of reality in a way that can cultivate all of that. So how would that work? Well, if we're judging someone, really, the simplest thing to understand about judgments are when we actually acknowledge that we are doing them, they pretty well cease to exist. 
they pretty well cease to exist as soon as we acknowledge them. Because if we are a positive being, and we don't want to do that, then we'll just stop. But we first must acknowledge it. Usually what's underneath that is a double justification of why we are judging and maybe more and more layers of beliefs. But if we acknowledge and accept and state through a noting practice that this person just left my house or I'm feeling this person's energy, if it feels bad, that is within that process showing you exactly that you're judging it because it would have no home within you unless you were judging their energy. So at the very least, you are a like vibration to that being because you're judging it. So acknowledging, accepting, and forgiving all parties involved. Okay, this is a process. It's not something that's done once and you got it. This is a practice. This is why spirituality is a practice. And this is why when we have an energy on us, we can utilize many practices to give ourselves the opportunity to not just be stuck in it. That is why the universe is so awesome, because we get to learn and grow at our own pace. For some people, their pace is faster due to their life's process and they're required to learn quicker, like myself. For other people, they can sit around for long periods of time and let negative energy just kind of be there. This is one thing. By your recognition of seeing negative energy exists, it's twofold. You're judging it, but you're simultaneously um, acknowledging what you don't want and therefore moving towards what you do want. So always the process of spirituality is to think that we are uh, empathic and we're sensitive and we can't handle energy, we can't handle being around, uh, we can't handle energy, we can't handle being around certain people. But then as we go on this process and this path and we let go of those beliefs of limitation, we get to a point where we can handle anything and we're gonna be just fine. But it takes time. So this first process is to when you feel negative energy within you, sit with the energy, allow it to be there. Because a negative energy experience is always bringing up a negative emotion. So that negative emotion that is within you, what is something that can be cultivated on the positive spectrum that is going to counterbalance negative energy? Well, first, to accept that it is there. So when the negative energy arises, you accept that the negative energy is there. And then, well, it's still there. Can I make it go away now? Well, the next step is patience. So immediately, negative energy immediately helps us to cultivate two massive qualities, acceptance and patience. Okay, well, what's the next step? Once I'm in the state of patience, if you're actually in a state of patience, well, you can be there forever. But then what if you got stuff to do and you're like, ah, I can't be here forever. Like I'm patient within reason. Well, give yourself X amount of time. Go, I'm gonna give myself 10 minutes to be in this energy, to feel it, to cultivate acceptance and to cultivate patience. And therefore, by embodying those positive qualities, you are making space between yourself, that which is the thing that has power over you, and that which is your state that you prefer to be in, which is probably a positive state, which then you've already cultivated these positive qualities. Many people really just forget the benefit of negative energy. If we didn't have the negative energy, we wouldn't be able to cultivate positive traits. Ultimately, it's very easy to love people that just treat us really well. It's very easy. It's challenging to be around people that are in challenged energy. And I'm not saying to just surround yourself with negative energy people. Hopefully you're able to discern and that's not what this video is particularly about. But now you don't want to just be limited to only be hanging around with people that are of a specific vibe in a specific way. And if they're not that, their negative energy's on me and I gotta get it off. That's just being weak. So let's be strong. Let's cultivate positive qualities. And by doing this, 
I'm gonna make a lot more videos about this kind of thing. But once you've done that for X amount of time, now we are going to close. Because every time that negative energy comes to us, it is beckoning us to show up. What I like to think of it as is just think of bells ringing, the universal bells. It's going, okay, you can only cultivate so much positivity and so much of your forward momentum without cultivating more positive qualities. So that bell of negative energy hits you, and now it's time. It's time to sit, it's time to be with that energy, and give it some time. Give it some of yourself. Cultivate those positive qualities, and then decide, clear within your mind, I'm done. This energy is run its course. So many people will pray away negative energy, and sure, that works, sort of, but not really. What works best, this is a holistic practice, is to get yourself into this place where you really understand what you are doing with the negative energy, and then you are in control of closing it. So by utilizing a prayer, you can, if you'd like, close your eyes. And first, realize that we are not stating that energy needs to go away. It needs to never be here again. Rain, rain, go away, come back another day. It's a little bit more realistic. That energy, different energies are going to come back again. They're going to challenge our ability to cultivate positive qualities unendingly. So, by telling it it needs to go away, you declare within your vibration what you want here and now. You say, I have given you all that I have today, this moment in time. Thank you, thank you, energies, for coming here, for being with me, and now you can be on your way. I thank you for coming, I thank you for entering my space, I appreciate your teachings. I appreciate your energy. Now it's time to go. Prayer is the first thing. It can be anything like that. It can be exactly like that or it can be something different. Next thing is you can light something like sage or incense. Anything that works for you. Anything you have close to you that you believe is going to purify your space. So sage is a very lovely one, very easy to come by and you sage your place. And as you continue to sage, you thank the energy for being here and coming and bringing teachings. It literally offered you an opportunity to have a mini ceremony throughout the day, and it will return. But for now, I've had enough, it's time to go. Then once the space has been cleared, you don't have to do every nook and cranny of your place, but generally walk about your place, continually thanking, releasing, letting go, and then you use something that works for you, whether that's Agua Florida, a rose spray, call upon good positive energy to hold the vibration that you prefer while you go about your day. While not saying, please make sure that energy never comes back again because I don't want to have to deal with it anymore. This is why reframing the perspective before we do a ritual is of the utmost importance. Because before we do the ritual, we are aligning with the beings that are going to come after and actually come be part of the clearing and the space holding for you to go about your day. If you're going about it in the way that you feel like you're a victim, those energies have no time for that. Like, it's going to be very hard to have a being of positive vibration come and try to rescue you from being a victim because you are already in a state of disempowerment. In order to call upon positive energies, we must be of a like vibration. Just as we were of a like vibration to the negativity, we must become a like vibration to the positivity. So that positivity just so happens to like very nice smells. Um, it has a little bit more to do with the program of our human psyche and what has already been pre-programmed within our belief system. When we have nice smells, um, our ancestors have done this for many, many years, which have programmed us to go, ah, good vibes are here. And within that, within that like 
or factory senses, whatever it's called, we can ultimately get into a very, very beautiful state and have those positive energies come. They can cultivate their energies, hold that space. And it's till next time that an energy comes and tries to teach you something. But always returning to what is the energy teaching me? It's teaching me how to be more positive. It's teaching me how to show myself that I contain judgment. I contain resistance. I contain something that is of a like vibration to be able to match an energy that has power over me. It's all very simple. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you liked it, please leave a comment. If you would like to work with me deeper on your own personal perspectives, your own things, this video is very blanket statement. It is, you know, applicable to many people. For your specific situation, you may require a little bit of something different. If so, you can always contact me through my website. I will have a link in the description. Lots of love, everyone.